Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Welcome back to another VW Rustbits video. So just an update on where we are with our van. Um, we've made a couple of drawers and I've started making a unit on the inside. So I just want to show you what we've been up to um, before we take it on our holiday at the weekend. So, as you can see, we just put a couple of drawers inside the uh, boxes. I also just wanted to show that that's the mattress on there. It's not fixed, it's just in place and the parcel shelf still works uh, with everything in place, which is awesome. And so I fixed this on a couple of heavy duty runners today. That will just sort of pull out like that. The wife's already been busy, look, putting stuff in here, working out where it's all gonna go. Um, so there we go. So I might iron up or put edging on all this. I don't know yet. We'll see what I'm like for time. But yeah, it carries a lot of stuff. And uh, got a new cooker that's gonna live there. And then I'm gonna make a little heat shield that will obviously divide off the cooker and the inside of the van. And we don't know fires. So that'll fit in there quite nice. Close them away. Yeah, so that's it, it works well, doesn't it? These little bits just lift up out the way. So they're loose, they're not fixed down, just to make it easier to get stuff in and out and like put a first aid kit and stuff in there and i'll probably end up putting tools or something like that in one of them got to have tools and if you just peek over the top of the parcel shelf i've started making a unit only a small one which is going to go there so a couple of doors and a top so we just had a bit of driftwood left over so um yeah i'm going to make a little unit for there a few shelves in my view and I've replaced the kickboard with the driftwood as well. So it ties sort of everything in together, apart from all the paddles in the way. And we'll put like the uh, electric sockets and stuff like that. And I think we're going to end up putting like um, the hookup, maybe the gas, maybe the leisure battery, everything all underneath there, all the services. But I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that before the holiday. But yeah, so I'm going to have a go at doing the uh, doors and the worktop and everything for the unit and then um, i'll add on to this video so you can see what else we've been up to there we go so catch you back in a minute and we'll do some more on the uh unit okay so we're coming to the end of another long day before my holiday but there we go unit is done and in uh, yeah, it turned out all right, innit? I say it's just some scraps of driftwood I'd left over was enough to um, do what I've done. So we've got just a little unit there. It's about eight inches deep at its deepest part. And I just think I showed you earlier the kickboard there. So I've got to edge up the uh, corner of the kickboard. In fact, the original's notched out there so you can get to the bolt. So I might do that. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Good, isn't it? So I've removed the blue rug. We'll put an overmat in there somewhere, cover up where the uh, middle seat goes in. So this is all fixed in place. I'll just show you. We put a couple of shelves in, a couple of push catches. <clears throat> a bit of a slope here, so it's not going to stay open, I don't think. But oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> There you go, yeah, cut the shelves. It's just got on either side of that um, stretchy net. So that could be used still for something. I've got, it's just a scrap piece of ply for the floor, but we've got some uh, non-slip matting that's going to go on the shelves anyway. So that's that unit done. Oh, I'm getting old. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's worked out really well. Again, it's a scrap piece of carbon fibre I had for the worktop, edged in driftwood. And we have got a little bit left, so I might put just a little box 
behind here somewhere, just up to the same height as that, because we've got swivel bases on the front seats. Just a bit of extra storage. Uh, and then if we make a table, possibly the table will slide in behind. There's enough space I've left to slide in behind that unit and my seat, but we'll see. So that's that bit. It's all closed. Let's close up my uh, drawers. So it's I've edged all of that. I think I showed you that earlier. So yeah. All coming together nicely. So I'll do, I think I'll do that bit behind the uh, passenger seat and then uh, we'll add that onto the video. But that's gonna have to be in a day or two because I'm knackered. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll add on to this video. So yeah, the magic of YouTube will just be attached to this video. So um, I'll catch you all in a bit. Right, so we're back. And that's what we've managed to make up. So I had a few bits of scrap driftwood left over. So I've just made this little um, unit to go behind the uh, front passenger seat. It's just, like I say, it's a bit of storage. I've not fixed it back yet. So you can get plenty of gear in there. Cheers, Ben. Thanks, mate. So this has worked really well. Thank you, mate. You can drop it down again now. Cheers, buddy. So that will go there. I've just kept it the same height as the um, factory uh, seat boxes so it's all nice and level um, so yeah that's turned out really well good use of the few little bits that we had left over so yeah that's it so we've got the uh, seat box there behind the passenger seat then we've got the side unit here with our cupboard I've already showed you that we've then got the kickboard along there and we've got obviously the bears and everything all in the back. So that's pretty much all we're doing for the inside for now. I will a later date after a holiday put in um, leisure battery 240 hookup and that will all be all the services in there. I've put for now, excuse the next please Ben, the um, gas bottle is living underneath there. Just ordered some new gas hose and regulator for that. But that sits out of the way nice and neatly and I've run a main hard line up under the seats along the rear um, engine tray to the back where we'll connect into our new Kavak 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 <laughs> cooker so there we go that is the van up together as much as we can before we go off to the Isle of Wight obviously we need to tidy all this stuff up um, I have got a dash tidy to go up on the front there just to give us a bit more storage. And I've ordered some little fold out cup holders, which I think I'm gonna put on the um, rear kickboard. But that is it for now. So, onto me. You see, I've even like had a proper haircut into my beard up since we last did the video a few days ago. So that's it for a minute for VW Bus Bits. Um, we're gonna do a bit of a vlog when we go on our holiday, um, which we'll put up on our site as well, so you can see what we're getting up to on our adventures. But it should be just a nice chilled weekend. Um, only off to the Isle of Wight. But yeah, it should be nice. None of us have ever been there before. So that'll be something nice. So yeah, look out for that video. I'll put that up as soon as we're, um, we've come back and finished our trip. So for now, again, thanks so much for watching my videos. And if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, put the thumbs up. And if you'd like to hit the bell notification icon, you'll have notification of all new videos that we put up on our site. But for now... Um, probably until after next week um, when we come back from a holiday. That is it. Oh, before we go, you might be able to see in the background. Oh, you can't. We've got we're having some windows fitted at the moment. You can't see. I've just um, put all of our bikes. I've made up a um, bike rack to go on top of our trailer. So I can fit five bikes on top of our trailer. But you'll probably see that in our holiday vlog video, whatever it is we're going to end up doing. So anyway, for now, thank you so much for following and we'll see you all soon at VW Raspberries. Thank you very much. Say bye, Ben. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody. See you soon.